Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 42 of the Pichu London Cup Series. Today we're at Bristol Motor Speedway for the running of the Supermarket Heroes 500. On the pole will be the 66 Alexander Rowe and his outside will be the 23 Quinn Porter. Row 2 has the double zero Christian Vargas and the 96 Nicky Maxwell. And row 3 is Stewie Moore in the 7 and Nick Suchita in the 3. John Andrews and Rich Roy start row 4 and Garrett Albertson and Thomas Montfort round out the top 10 in the starting lineup. And let's take a look at all the drivers that will be starting here in today's race. As we're about to start the three-week span here in Tennessee. The next three races here today are going to be in Tennessee. First starting with Bristol. And then we go to our dirt race debut at Knoxville. And then we wrap it up with the return to Nashville. And, that'll, and then it will kick off the All-Star Race Weekend. So it will be a lot of fun here for the next three events before the All-Star Weekend begins. Isaiah Burnesh was our winner last weekend at New Hampshire. He starts in the back of the pack today in 39th. But here we go, folks. A 50-lap race at the Bristol Short Track. We're back to short track racing, and I'm sure it's going to be a fun race to watch. And here we go to the green flag. Pace car to pit road. About to get underway here at Bristol, and the green flag waves. Oh, driver's in the wall. Oh, boy. They're getting in the wall real quick. A pile up in the back already develops. The caution's out. 66 is in the lead. Giovanni Castillo up onto the fence, but let's take a look at the caution. Oh, not a good start there. Claire Richardson holds up the pack, and more cars wreck as well. A big mess to start things off here in this race. Well, right off the bat, they wasted no time going at each other, spinning each other out. Now the pace car is trying to catch up with this pack. This pack is all over the place. Oh, boy. Oh, mo oh boy. Oh, I thought that was, I thought they were not going to catch up to each other. I thought for a second they were going to mess it up. Anyway, back to the green. Yeah, they, they just moved a little weirdly into the, um caution period so I thought for a second it was not gonna it was not gonna go good oh boy Coda Butcher's in the wall can he avoid the contact he does avoid the contact tough race here so far and there you see second place is now to Nick Suchita and John Andrews Coda Butcher in the top five and I believe last season John Andrews was the winner at the Bristol dirt race and the dirt race is coming back here at Bristol, but it will be a playoff race later in the seat later in the season. It should be a should be a fun day to watch there in that race. And a battle for the lead. There you see this three car of Nick Suchita take the lead away from Alexander Rowe. And he is now up in front. See if he hangs on here. And Nicky Max will take second spot away. The caution's out again. No surprise. Oh, another pileup. Oh, this is probably going to be a recruiting theme. A recruiting, a recruiting theme here at Bristol, wrecking drivers all over the place. And there you see the wrecks. Oh no. There you see the pileup. Another big pileup. They're going to move the cars in time before everybody else. Um, the leaders catch up. Oh, they better hurry up. Leaders have just caught up to them. Oh, the 10 car slips. Oh, no. I'm going to let the 10 car out of the way. And, oh, yeah. Totally fine with that. And they're still wrecking each other under the caution. Still trying to get their field back up together. Still trying to back things up for whatever reason. I'm not sure why they're having trouble with that. But they're, they have caught to the field, and they're going to have to slow the field down. The leaders have to slow down. Oh, close call. It was second and third. I don't know what that was about. But I'm trying to wait for that pace car to move ahead. Oh, boy. Now the pace car is back with the drivers. Okay. So they're back up into the front for now, and another caution came out, and now they're going to be back to the restart. 
back to the green. Well, we did have some couple green flag runs so far. Bristol's racing has been much better than last season. I mean, last season's race at the Oval, Bristol was a was was a real bore fest. But this season has much improved. We see some wrecks. We've seen some battles for the lead. We see some action going on. I don't know what they did in the All Star Weekend here in this uh, last season, but they sure did a great job. Oh, three wide here at Bristol. Oh boy, this is going to be a crazy one. And Mockford nearly hit, nearly turned. And now Albertson's up into the wall. Can he hang on? No, and there's more wrecking in behind them. Double zero spins. And they wreck behind him again. Oh, he's, they're still trying to catch up to the pack, and I'm not sure what these guys are doing. Allison Rain in the 48 also trying to trying to stay out of this. Did any, And did any contact made with the leaders? And no, just barely didn't make any contact. And they're so relieved to not make any contact with those drivers in the pack. Oh, it looks like third, fourth, and fifth are trying to catch up to everybody. Oh, that pace car better catch up to the field right now. Otherwise, it's going to be total chaos. And that three car is not is going to pass through to that start finish line. Pace car trying to catch up now, and it's going to be very difficult because for whatever reason, it just sometimes becomes wacky. I don't know why that is, with the logic sometimes being wacky with these cars on the caution flags, but looks like they're gonna they're gonna keep calm for now. They better calm it down right here, right in the middle of the packs, otherwise it's gonna be a mess to uh, clean up. All right, so Nick Sachita is still the leader. He's still hanging on to the lead. I'm sure they fixed the situation with the pack in the middle. We're about to get the green flag nearly halfway home here at Bristol. We're back to the green. Oh boy, John Andrews into the wall, but they somehow hang on. Wow, how did they hang on there? Three wide again, and the seven is trying to avoid the contact. Cars all over the place. Allison Road just came off. Allison Rain just came off Pair Road, and now holding up the leaders. Nick Suttita trying to get by the 41, and he does so, and not going to affect them as the leader. 96 trying to take advantage and trying to go and catch up to the three car. Other than those drivers wrecking each other out in front of them, everything's been going good, and now the double zero and 38 have spun. Two car spin, and there you see it looks like the 99 got caught up in the middle. Yikes. Two drivers spinning here at the Brist at Bristol. And let's take a look another look at that wreck. Two cars spin, another spin in front of them. Oh no, another pile up in front of them. This time though, they're going to get back up into the into the field. Oh, better hurry! The three cars caught up, and now the leaders have caught up. Oh wow! Okay, now this is troubling. Now they're trying to catch up to the pack, and the forty-one is among the lap cars. I'm not sure what they're going to do. They're going to try to straight the, sort the field out. It looks like the 41 will have to start behind the 11 car, it appears, into the line. So, yeah, it appears that that will be the case. So the top two will have some clean air to start it off on the, when we get back to the green. A lot of wrecks here at Bristol today, as is expected for a track like this. But anyway, we are going back to the green here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. And now let's see if these drivers can get by the lap car of Allison of Allison Rain.
Another spin happens with a 38 of Matt Gomes. He has just struggled to get to stay on the track as he gets turned this time by the 19 of Giovanni Castillo. Another car spins as well. It looks like Ethan O'Connor also spun. Looks like the 78 was turned. Right there on the corner, the 78 was turned around. Oh, another pile up. Seven was hit. More cars spinning, and they're going to catch up to these drivers, and the caution will come out. There you see the caution is out. Oh, they're going way too... Oh, they're bumping each other. Oh, wow. Okay. They're bumping each other now. They're really too close. They're trying to separate this field, and they that's what they'll do. So I'm sure glad that the restarts have gone on without a hitch, mostly, for those leaders. But how long will they last? We have 11 to go here at Bristol. We're back to the green. Question is, how long will this green flag run last? Will anybody catch Nick Suchita? He's been lucky getting those caution flags to his advantage. He's been able to hang on to the lead most of the day. And now Maxwell and Reynolds battle for second place. Here we go. This is for second. Reynolds takes the second spot away in the 11 car trying to catch the three. Nine laps to go at Bristol. We might see another caution uh, very soon with, given how these drivers are racing each other right now. And uh, the 21 John Andrews trying to get by. And we have eight laps to go. And I believe there's the caution right on cue. Hampton Connor was the one that went around. 78 into the wall, and the 52 just went around. Just one car spinning, and that'll bring the caution out. Eight laps to go. How many laps are we going to get left? We don't know. So here we go back to the green flag. There'll be three laps to go at Bristol. There's still time for an overtime finish, but we shall see what happens. Green flag, three to go at Bristol. And they wasted no time wrecking each other out. Oh, a big crash, a big pile up. Ryan Durante spins, and that'll bring the caution out quickly. Wow, they were quick on that to bring the caution. And I believe it was for Owen Miles that began. Yeah, it started with Owen Miles. Not sure why the 22... Well, I don't know what the 22 was trying to do right there, but he just took out Owen Miles. And everybody else spins as well. That quickly. And that's why the caution is out again. And there we go. Overtime's coming up here at Bristol. No surprise there with all the wrecks we've seen today. We're going to come, it's going to come down to overtime here at Bristol Motor Speedway, so stay tuned. Alrighty, guys, we're going to go to overtime, but instead of two laps, it's going to be three laps because of how short this race was running here at the Bristol Motor Speedway with all the wrecks that have happened. We have decided to extend overtime by an, another lap and make it three lap overtime. So here we go. Green flag is out in this three lap overtime. Oh, the three gets loose and into the wall, and he spins. That was almost like what happened in that all-star race last season here at Bristol. Nicky Maxwell leads. Oh, wow. It was almost like what happened in that all-star race last season. Now, Oscon spins. 24 is in the wall as we come to the white flag with one lap to go. Lap traffic ahead. The five car holds up the 96. Here comes Monk Ford. Can he make a move? Contact. They're spinning. Maxwell trying to hang on. Still trying to make it through. Fitzwater spins. Down the final quarter row spins as well. Who's going to win this race? Wow, this is intense. Final corner. Who's going to make it through? Unleash your Quillies. Can he do it? He will hang on. And Quillies is the winner. Unleash your Crowley's wins it!
and the craziest overtime finish I've ever seen here at Bristol. Unleash your Quillies gets the win. Oh my gosh, that was the craziest overtime finish I've ever seen. Unleash your Quillies wins it. Oh my gosh. We gotta we gotta get through what happened on this final lap. Wow. I mean to start things off, let's go to the first lap of overtime. Nick Suchita was the leader. On the first lap of overtime, he gets turned right behind the 96. There you see the three car spins. Gets turned around into the wall. Into the wall he goes. He goes around and spins. And since there's no cautions in overtime, they had to race. They had to race to the line and have no cautions. And it turned into utter chaos. And my goodness, if we didn't have that extra lap in overtime, this finish would have not happened. <laughs> wow. I'm sure Maxwell and I'm sure Maxwell, the team, are going to be really furious with how this race turned out. They had the lead. If, they, if it had a two-lap overtime, they would have won the race. And then there you see Sam and Oscon going around with Cole Binion. And these guys were bumping and banging each other, all trying to win this race, all trying to spin. Big crashes have been happening on this final lap alone. And there you see the lap car, Robert Smith, very slow. Might have gotten to a wreck. And Maxwell's trying the best she can to avoid the five car. And then another lap car happened with Hayden Stringer on the bottom. There you see the 96 trying to find a way to avoid them. And she gets into contact with Hayden Stringer. Thomas Mockford also spinning. Maxwell trying to get stayed on the track. Got into the four car of Zachary Fitzwater. And then Fitzwater gets turned by the 66 of Alexander Rowe. They were holding up the lap cars right here. Unleash your Quillies was trying to find a way to get across. He turns around the 66. And the leaders were catching up behind them on the corner. That final corner right there. And very quickly, somehow, some way. Quilly's got through barely. The seven was trying to get by and he just couldn't get through and unleash your Quillies somehow, some way gets the win at o in overtime in a wall finish. The wildest finish I've ever seen when we in instituted overtime. And here's another look again. There you see Unleash Your Quillies was running in fifth when the white flag came up came out was trying his best to it just just to get a finish here but then the cars were spinning in front of him the cars were wrecking each other in front of him maxwell was wrecking each other with the other drivers right in front of the pack all of them trying to like trying to avoid the contact and fitzwater goes around he went around the one car was trying to stay alive trying to stay in this race and then the 66 Right in front of him, spins. He tried so desperately to to get through, and he just just pushed the 66 as best as he can. Not sure why the 96 couldn't go on the high lane there. I guess it was trying to avoid the seven behind her. Uh, all those other cars were catching up very quickly to the pack, and the one car was the one that came out on top. Wow, that this was the craziest overtime finish I've ever done in any race. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that that is just unbelievable. That is just incredible. More cars pile up on the final lap of the race. Oh wow, it was utter chaos as expected here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Overtime was the most chaotic I've ever done. They were still wrecking after the checkered flag as well behind them. Oh wow, they were going all at it here today at Bristol. And as for that 66, he still went around. He was still going around on the on the checkered flag. And they was trying to get to the field, and Albertson just turned him around and flipped him. Well, he almost flipped him, but yeah, 66 was just rocked all around and finished in 13th. Wow, he had a chance to win this race. The 66 had a chance to win. He was in front at one point. It was just the craziest final lap you'll ever see in any race. There you see that 96 getting rocked around and getting turned around, trying to save it as much as she can, getting passed by the one car, 
couldn't get by those two cars in in, in front of her. For whatever reason, I'm not sure why the 96 just couldn't go by the one when uh, she had the chance to go by the one. But the one car was able to win the race. Unleash your Quillies. Gets the win. His first career win. He finally, finally achieves his first PLCS victory. And it comes in the most strangest of ways. This is what he sees the entire time on that final chaotic lab. This is his onboard camera on that final lap of chaos. So now let's take a look at the finish from the view of Nikki Maxwell. And we saw that she got turned around so many times on that final lap. I think the 96 might have been stuck on the 1 somehow, I'm not sure, but probably could have had the chance to get by that 1 car in that final corner, but never got, but wasn't able to do so for whatever reason. Zach Fitzwater was turned around, he tried to get that lead, he tried to win this race, and he gets turned quickly. There you see the other drivers racing back to the line, oh, 66 was trying to get back onto the field. And the 19 went by everybody. Oh no, that was a lap car 39th. My bad. I thought he was um, in contention for a top five. There you see the other drivers behind them. Stewie Moore, he was able to cross the line in the top five. I think he was able to cross the line in fourth. And Hayden Stringer, oh no, Stewie Moore was third. I'm sorry, he was crossing the line in third place. Stewie Moore. And Thomas Mongford and Zach Fitzwater made the top five. And then commotion happened on the final lap of the race. Well, no, after the checkered flag flew. Oh my gosh, this was the craziest overtime finish I've ever done. By far, this was the craziest finish I've ever done here at Bristol. And wow, if they, they hadn't had that extra lap in overtime, this would have not happened. And Nicky Maxwell... Would have won this race. I'm sure the 96 team is going to dispute this finish because they usually run two laps in overtime, but they ran three at Bristol because of how short the track was. And I'm sure this team is going to be in dispute over this win because they could have had this win if they had only two laps. And none of this would have ever happened. 96, though, had two wins already this season. Could have had a third one here today. My goodness, that 96 team must be furious that they added an extra lap in overtime for this race. Wow, they're, they're, they're going to be very furious how this race turned down in that very last lap, that chaotic final lap. 96 could have gone around the one, but somehow didn't. And the one car and Leisha Quillies ended up with the win. That was just insane. Probably the most controversial race I've done so far ever here at Bristol. Oh, wow. That was an insane finish from start to finish here at Bristol. And, wow, it came to overtime, and it we had a memorable race, for sure. A very, very memorable one. I mean, my goodness, this one is for the ages. And Alicia Quillies with a win he'll never forget. First career win for him, and I think his third or fourth season in the PLCS, he finally achieves his win in the series, and is finally going to be competing for the championship in the in the PLCS playoffs. 
and uh, the the order was just all over the place because they all wrecked each other on that final lap. <laughs> it was the craziest final lap in overtime I've ever seen, and it just came down to the wire, and they were wrecking each other um, with with no cautions, no overtime cautions, so they had to go all the way. They had to wreck each other out, and they just went all out to get that win, and Unleash Your Quillies was the one that came out on top. So that'll do it here from Bristol. What a finish. What a controversial finish we had here at the Bristol Motor Speedway. And I'm sure we're going to get one just like it at the Bristol Dirt Track when we get to there in the playoffs. When we come back to Bristol, it'll be in the playoffs and it will be on the dirt surface. So it, we, we, we might be in for a wild, wild weekend at Bristol Dirt when we get to the playoffs. And I'm sure that's going to be going to be huge very it's going to be even more controversial than the than this one here uh this race we've had here so far anyway hope you enjoyed our race at bristol and next weekend we're going to be in the dirt track at knoxville you heard that right knoxville raceway makes its debut next race next weekend and it'll be we'll be at the dirt track at knoxville and again we'll be at another dirt track at bristol back here at bristol for the dirt race here in the playoffs later in the season next week we'll have a dirt track race at knoxville and you don't want to miss a single minute of that race at knoxville so until then we will see you guys next time here in the plcs oh boy what a finish that was anyway hope you enjoyed our race and we will see you guys next time